Hi there. Um, right, I know it's been a very long time since I've done any technology videos, um, but I thought that uh, now that I've actually got something interesting, I would. So, over the weekend I built myself an AMD Ryzen 7 rig, as you can see, 1800X 8-core, and it's on a Asus Crosshair 6 Hero board. Now, one of the things that a lot of people have been saying online is that apparently the voltages can run a little bit high on this board, and I sort of thought, hmm, okay, and suppose that there have been a small number of component failures as a result. Now, what I would say is I am also aware that there's no hard and fast voltages for Ryzen chips, so they are just sort of pre-programmed at the factory and you get a set voltage. However, I suspect that as you can see there in the right hand side, the uh, 1.482 volts is probably a little on the high side, especially considering that um, I've been reading reviews and things where people have been overclocking this CPU and sort of pushing up to like 1.45 and that's like the top end of what you should really push it to. Um, so I'll be honest, I'm a little bit concerned, but I'm sure that there'll be a BIOS update or something coming soon that will resolve it where on the small number of CPUs where it does end up getting high, then you know they'll make sure it stays within tolerances. But until then, if you're one of these people that has this issue and you're a bit concerned about it, one, go into your iOS and check what voltage you are running. Um, but one really quick and dirty thing I've done to make life a little easier for myself is if I go into Extreme Tweaker and if we go down to CPU core voltage, it's obviously set to auto. Now, if I go into that and set it to offset mode, you can then um, change whether it's plus or minus. So we want to set it to minus. And what that's doing is offset mode basically changes the entire CPU voltage range based upon what settings you are using. So at the moment, the voltage it seems to be aiming at is 1.482, 1.46, that sort of range, which is high. Um, now if I go to the actual offset and put in 0 0.15 that means that it's going to knock 0 0.15 off that 1.482 so what that will end up with is roughly 3.1, 3.3 uh, 1.31 or 1.33 um, the whole idea of that is it keeps it well within a number a reasonable tolerance and sort of below what other people are considering overclocking voltage um, but it changes the CP the voltage for the entire CPU range so if it's running in a low voltage state so power saving mode it will reduce the voltage there as well um, I'm not promising that this is right for everybody um, in my limited testing I found that my machine seems to be stable under volted by 0 0.15 volts um, more testing needs to be done, I need to sort of play more games, that kind of thing, but I've been able to sort of play quite a lot of things without it doing anything silly. And it reduces temperature under some, again, pretty um, basic stress testing by about 6 degrees. Um, not that this machine is getting particularly warm anyway, but yeah, it reduces the temperatures by 6 degrees. Um, so I'm just going to set that now. And In fact, no, one of the other voltages I noticed it was changing was the... Um, DRAM voltage, it's at 1.35 and again this is a voltage which there's a the thing with DDR4 memory is that a lot of kits are designed for 1.2 volts but they'll happily run at a slightly higher 1.35 volts um, if you're not planning on overclocking your memory you can reduce its temperature and possibly its longevity just by changing it back to 1.2 again check that your memory is capable of running at 1.2 volts before you do um, but since I'm not planning on particularly overclocking this system, I just want it to be a really solid and stable, you know, powerful machine. Those sorts of voltages are absolutely fine for me. Um, so if I press F10 now, you can see there that it's going to change the CPU voltage from auto to offset mode, and from plus to minus because I want to reduce the voltage and the offset amount by 0.15 volts. And the run voltage is going down to 1.2. We press Enter. And if you're not aware of what you're doing, this is the point where you poo yourself. But being as I know these boards, the machine cutting off like that is normal. It takes an age to post. I can only imagine that's because it's doing a load of self-testing. Which, with little LEDs inside, flashing away.
just there. There we go. Posting. There we go. And back to here. Press delete a couple of times just to make sure it activates. And we'll be back in the BIOS right about now. And then in the top corner there, 1.308 volts. And DRM voltage 1.19. .9, so that should keep everything a bit more in check. Um, as I've said, I'm assuming that this is something which Asus will Asus will um, bring out a BIOS update for probably to resolve this issue. However big of an actual issue it is, is you know, for them to decide. But I have got in touch with their support and I'm sort of expecting some form of a reply in the not too distant. But for the time being, I'm happier that the voltage is slightly lower and the system seems to be behaving normally under the lower voltage conditions. So um, I guess I'll have to keep you posted. And if there is a proper fix in the, um, in the pipeline or if I have any issues, I suppose I should uh, submit a follow-up video. But for the time being, um, I think this will probably do it. Uh, so thanks for watching if you have been. And uh, yeah. We'll see if there's any more tech videos coming up soon.